You were in the audience. Were you cringing or were you happy with the outcome, with what Megs did? I think I can't be uh, more happy uh, okay. for her. Uh, it, you know, it's a very difficult journey, uh, the So You Think You Can Dance journey. And I think she uh, took on this, this challenge. She danced very well. She couldn't do better than that. Obviously, the judges was a little harsh about her posture, about her technique. But overall, I'm pleased. I'm happy. I'm happy for her because I hope she will get good memory about this Pasta Doble. Because obviously, everybody around, all the other choreographer was so proud for her. Yeah. Is the Pasta Doble one of the harder ballroom yeah. genres or styles? You know, in Pasta Doble, you can't really lie. There is a, a hair to it. There's a position. There is angle. And... Uh, the way you're going to shape your arm, the way you're going to dress your arm and address the floor, you can't really lie. And obviously there, she could have been a little bit heavier at time, but she can be more engaged and committed. So there you thought go. She did a good job under yes. the circumstances. Yeah. But, you know, overall, uh, everybody was pleased. Everybody yeah. gave a, uh, you know, a high five at the end. Everybody was happy for her. Obviously, judges does their job, yeah. You know, I'm I'm a judge on, on Dancing with the Stars in France, and when you have to to do your thing, you do your thing, right? You yeah. have to be honest. But I think overall, Nigel just put it perfectly. She said, he said, you have an amazing journey on the show, and you deserve to be there. Mm -hmm. So you've been following the show. Are there any dancers that you would like to get your hands on? Oh my God, Gabby is just say that. on. Real, yeah. she did a tap number on a cha cha. I hate her so much, so much. I mean, she's liquid when she dances. When she does hip hop, she hits hard. I mean, this girl is a real chameleon, and Yaya is also is. a crazy one. Yes. So, uh, and a virgin. I mean, all of them, yeah. all of them. To tell you the truth, were you surprised to see who got eliminated tonight? Um. I didn't it's expect be, Neptunes to go. It's going to be difficult. Anybody who's going to leave the show, from the actually from the top ten, yeah. it will be a surprise for some and, and, and maybe unfair for others. You know, at the end of the day, I think they had an incredible journey on this uh, on this show. It was an amazing season. This idea about the stage and street meshed together. You like amazing. it? I loved it. And... Um, I think Neptune was a little bit like Me Meg's uh, exposed with the style, and obviously, elimination come from the week the, the week before, so it's tough, you know. Yeah. It will be tough every every week from now on. So you said you work on Dance with the Stars in France. Yes. Is there a difference between the dancers in other countries in U.S. or in France? You know what? That's what's interesting about dancing because it it is a language on its own, and I think. All the country really does speak the same language and they come together. You don't need to know the expression. Some people will count un, deux, trois, quatre, other one, one, two, three, other, but at the end, it's the movement that counts. And the dancers are in France are absolutely unreal, unbelievable, like here, like in Canada too. Yeah. Well, it's always a pleasure talking to you. You're so yes. passionate. I find myself, like, drawn to you when you talk. Oh I love it. Will we see you again soon? Yes, and I love Dance Plug. Thank you. Love it. Well, we love Let me plug Dance Plug. Oh, <laughs> Dance Plug. <laughs>